Yes, she is black and white. Yes, just like you, Two Tone. Wow, I have never seen Two Tone speak that much of you. <laughs> he is so excited about this book. And look at that. You know who this is? I'll tell you, that is the author with her just right grandchildren. Look at that. I guess she was inspired to write Black, White, Just Right by her own family. All right, here we go. Mama's face is chestnut brown. There's Mama. Her dark brown eyes are bright as bees. Papa's face turns pink in the sun. His blue eyes squinch up when he smiles. My face? I look like both of them. A little dark. A little light. Mama and Papa say, just right. All right. I like how we're going with this. Black is the color of Mama's hair, crinkly curling around her face. Papa's hair is popcorn colored, short and straight and silky smooth. My hair, halfway in between. A dark brown ponytail tied tight. Three in the mirror. We look just right. Aren't they cute? And I like her high ponytail. Mom and I take ballet lessons, twirling, leaping, light as moths. Papa likes to dance to rap, stomp and wiggle to the street smart beat. How about that? Everybody's doing something that you don't expect, huh? Because eh, nobody's ever supposed to do exactly what people expect. My feet, they never want to stop. I'm Papa's jitterbug, boom, bam de boom. I'm Mama's butterfly. Arms wide in flight. We all clap and say, just right. When Mama walks along the street, her high heeled shoes click, 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 click fast. Papa likes to dawdle, stroll, make faces in the window glass. My speed, I race like a rabbit, then let my toes drag, turtle slow. Mama sighs, we don't have all night. Swift or slow, I say, just right. Mama says, I'd like a kitten, plump and gray, all fur and purr. Papa wants a St. Bernard. Roo, roo, roo. Too bad that we don't have a yard. <laughs> you definitely need a yard for a ginormous dog like a St. Bernard. And me? Give me dozens of pets. Cats and dogs, flat fish, fat frogs. I'd make sure they didn't fight. A whole pet store? would be just right. <laughs> a whole pet store in a house? Well, just move into a pet store and save yourself the trouble. Mama stares at African masks, curved drums, carved figures made of wood. Papa goes for modern art, all squiggles, squares, and stretched out shapes. Mm, it's all art. It's all beautiful in its own unique way. But my choice, huge Egyptian tombs with painted faces, picture words, and cloth wrapped mummies wound up tight. Touring the museum is just right. <laughs> Mama orders vegetables, fruit, and yogurt for dessert. Barbecued ribs are Papa's choice. Bagels, beans, blueberry pie. My meal, <laughs> why not try it all? I'm Mama and Papa's bottomless pit. I clean my plate, beg one more bite. Patting my stomach, I say, just right. I like the variety of foods at this table. It's all actually rather attractive. I would like to have, let's see, I would like to start with the fruit and then I would go to the barbecued ribs and then I think I'd jump over to the blueberry pie. What do you think? Mama has to stretch her arms to reach the subway straps. She's small. Papa grins, hey, I'm six feet tall. Watch me, I can reach the moon. What, Papa don't brag. <laughs> My size, I'm still inching up. When grown, will I be small or tall? Mama says, whatever your height, we know you'll measure up just right. That's right. Look at that, they're stuck on that subway. It's all crowded. And I'm kind of like that on the subway. It's hard to reach all the way up. Mama's hands are smooth and quick at fixing zippers, tying bows. Ooh, pizza guy. Papa's hands are hard and large, strong enough to boost me high. My hands, well, 
halfway in between. Small and hard with rough chewed nails, walking down the street at night, holding hands, feels just right. Oh, can I just say that I'm really loving Mama's purse here with a little orange suede fringy action? Yes, I love that. <gasps> and that is the end of our story. When they walk off at night holding hands together, just right. You love the book? You felt like it captured your experience? Do, so, so have, have you had any special experiences being uh, both a black and a white cat to talk? You can fill a book with your experiences. Wow. Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed this book. Oh, I'm sure that the kids enjoyed it too. Did you, kid? Did you enjoy Black White Just Right? We're all a little bit different in some way, aren't we? Yeah. That's right. We're all not exactly one thing. And plus, even if you are just one thing, just like your parents, inside you are many, many things that make you different and also just right. Yeah. See you next time, kid, on... You know what he said, right? Yeah.